Tina Reynolds, a Senior Risk Resource Advisor with ProAssurance. We want to ensure our patients receive appropriate and timely treatment and that our interactions with them are effective. While many patients find it challenging to navigate the complexities of our healthcare system, this can be especially difficult for patients with limited health literacy. The Institute of Medicine has defined health literacy as the degree to which individuals have the capacity to obtain, process, and understand basic health information and services needed to make appropriate health decisions. Research has shown a connection between limited health literacy and poor outcomes, resulting in inequalities in health care. Vulnerable populations face barriers to quality health care, experience difficulty accessing routine care, and may receive less preventative care, like cancer screenings. These patients tend to have lower treatment adherence, more frequent hospitalizations, and emergency department use, and higher mortality than those with adequate health literacy. Public health emergencies disproportionately affect at-risk populations. An example of this is the COVID-19 pandemic. As health literacy is important in the prevention of communicable disease, COVID-19 is especially challenging because much of the information has been complicated and somewhat even contradictory. Patients with limited health literacy may not realize what they do not know and believe they understand information related to their care. Challenges may present in the form of difficulties with social distancing, fear of testing because of language barriers, even appropriate mask usage. Someone's level of health literacy is not always obvious. Patients with limited health literacy may communicate through family members, may not ask questions, or postpone their discussion by saying they don't have their glasses, they'll read the information later, or they want to talk it over with their family. In order to increase service engagement and try to close gaps in access to care, we should help our patients find, evaluate, communicate, and use healthcare-related information for optimal results. Consider the following suggestions to provide accessible information. Use plain language. Avoid terms which may be difficult to comprehend, like flattening the curve, self-quarantine, or respiratory etiquette. For patients with limited English proficiency, provide multilingual resources, maybe an interpreter if needed. Use short sentences. Break a topic down to two to three key points. After visit summary information should be easy to read. Aim for a fifth grade reading level. Assess the patient's comprehension. Ask them to relay the information back to you. Incorporate CDC guidelines to reduce transmission into your education. Instruct patients to stay home when sick or when they have been in close contact with someone with COVID-19. Teach and reinforce hand hygiene. Teach and reinforce the use of cloth face coverings to protect others. Ensure adequate supplies like soap, hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol, and paper towels are easily available to support healthy hygiene. Post signs or posters and promote messaging about behaviors that prevent spread.